In this video, we'll see about the topic named as convert requirement to test. Now, whenever we create a requirement, we have to create some test cases. What we do is in manual testing, we create requirements separately. We create test cases separately, but we have a feature which is available in HP ALM, which helps me to convert all the requirements into the test cases. What is the benefit? What is the advantage? First advantage is I don't have to manually write all the test cases here. Second advantage is I can have a traceability between these two documents with the requirement document and the test case document. So let us see practically how do we create the test cases from these requirements. Now to convert the requirements into test case directly, first of all, we have to change the view. Right now we are working on the requirements grid view. So if I go to view menu bar and if you observe requirement grid view is selected. So first of all, you need to change the view that is you have to come to the requirements tree view. So I've selected that. Now from here, whatever requirements you want to convert into test, you have to select those or else if you directly want to convert all the requirements in this folder, so select the folder first of all. So I'm selecting this Mercury Tools folder. Go to requirements menu bar, select the option as convert to test and you'll be getting a dialog box. There will be total number of steps will be three. So right now we are working on the first step. So I'll just move it on the right hand side. There are four options which is giving us. So it says convert lowest shell requirement to design steps. We'll not be converting this to design steps. We'll be converting this one to directly test. So I'll select the second option, convert lowest child requirement to test. Then click on next. Now, if you observe, I have selected Mercury Tools folder. So I'm getting all the requirements in the Mercury Tools folder. And if you observe carefully, the icons of the requirement at the back end and the icons of this newly completed test case is different. So the backend icons are for the functional requirement, performance requirement or undefined. But here, if you observe, this icon stands for only for test cases, right? This is for test cases. Now the second step is done. I'll simply click on next. Now it says after conversion, where do you want to store destination subject path? Remember in requirements, we have a folder named as requirements, but in test plan, we have a folder named as subject. So under subject folder, there will be generated test folder under that all these test cases will be stored. So I'll click on finish. So it will take time to, you know, convert all the requirements into your test cases. Where should I go from here? If you want to view all your test cases, it says conversion finished successfully. Click on OK. Now, if you want to see all your test cases, you have to go to the test plan. This is a test plan module. And if you observe here, the parent folder name is subject. And then we have something known as unattached. There we have the generated test. Now in this generated test, if I expand again, if I click on expand, these are all the test cases which have been generated. And if you observe, if you count all the test cases, it will be exactly same what you see in the requirements folder, right? Those will be the same. Let us try to click on login. If I click on login, and whatever requirement was given there, the same description will be visible here. If you observe, the same description is given here. If I click on some login performance, the same description will be given, whatever I've written in the requirements part. So what is the benefit of this? Benefit of this one is requirement coverage. So next time I don't have to connect the newly created test case with the existing requirement. So connection is automatically done. How do I come to know? So if you observe here, in the requirement coverage, if I click on this place for login performance, it is seeing as login performance requirement. If I click on this login button, login test case, it says login requirement is selected. Let me show you back. If I go to requirements tab here, and now if you observe every place, it is saying as not covered, not completed. Now, if I click on this refresh button and if I expand this, and if you observe, instead of not covered and not completed, it is saying as no run. That means a test case is assigned to this particular requirement, but they have not been executed. So if you observe recently, we have created just a minute ago. That means uh, every requirement has minimum one test case and that has been not executed. So therefore the status is given as no run. Also, if you observe, if I go to view menu bar, click on this coverage analysis, you might find a behavior change that is given as 10. If I expand it, if I expand it 
and if you see there is given as no run and if you see the color has changed let me expand the legend by clicking on it and if you see why the color is showing as this one because it is given as no run no run stands for this color and everything is given here so what is the benefit of converting requirement to test you will not be missing any one requirement okay all the requirements will be covered by one of the other test cases and that would be stored under this test plan so i hope you have able to understand how do you convert all the requirements into a test case that's all for this video